Hey guys, Joe here, and it's time for a new video. I'm going to show you an awesome way to train your attack, strength, or defense and get some awesome hit points XP as well. Now, with this bot, you can get anything up to 240k melee experience an hour. Now, I thought that was pretty awesome. Obviously, that's 180k attack experience an hour I was getting, plus the 60k in hit points. So, 240k an hour is really fantastic, especially for a spot that doesn't require that much clicking. Now I usually rate my spots by how much clicking they actually require. If they require a lot of clicking, I'm like, oh bloody hell. And if they don't require much at all, I'm oh this is awesome. I can watch movies, watch YouTube videos, develop a website while I'm training on RuneScape. So that's why I particularly love this spot. For the most part, everyone is going to be looking at getting over 100k attack experience or strength experience or defense experience an hour using this spot, which is really awesome. And you really don't have to click that much. Now the requirement for this spot is that you've completed Nomad's Requiem because you're going to be fighting the Decaying Avatar in the Dominion Tower. The Dominion Tower is obviously completely safe so if you do die for whatever reason then you're completely safe and all your items are there and you can jump straight back into the fight. We'll be fighting the Decaying Avatar because he does heal himself and the fight lasts very long and the fact that you fight the same monster for several minutes means that you're not stuck with the inconvenience of constantly clicking on other monsters after that one's dead and swapping between different monsters. Is continuously fighting the same opponent for several minutes. And you simply leave and you go back into the fight. Obviously I'll be explaining this in more detail later on in the guide. Now as you can see on screen this is what I wear to do it. You'll have to make your way to the Dominion Tower which is quite simple and if you don't know Magic Requiem then I assume you know what the Dominion Tower is. If you don't I will put some details in the description of this video. You want to make your way to the Dominion Tower and you want to gear up. Now I personally wear the best strength armor I can and you will be protecting from melee while we fight this monster so if you haven't got some very good strength armor I recommend you go for prayer boosting armor. You can really work this out how you want to do it but this is my recommendation what you can see on screen right now. Obviously instead of my boots you could wear dragon boots instead of the bandos you could wear a torso or perhaps you could wear prosolite or initiate instead of my bandos. Now the rapier is very key because this monster is moderately weak to stab. Now you can fight with a whip quite effectively and use this as a viable training method but if you don't have access to a rapier I would recommend you use a keg longsword. If you don't have access to that weapon I would recommend you use an upgraded whip, the vine whip, or alternatively using the Zamorakian spear on stab. Now he is weak to stab but that doesn't necessarily mean he's resilient to crush and slash. But yet he is weak to stab and they do seem to be a little more effective on him so I would recommend, if you can do it, using a chaotic rapier on this monster. Otherwise, a whip should suffice and a Zamorakian Spear on Stab will also be a viable way to do this. The other key item is the Ring of Vigor. Now this is because you'll be using as many specials as you can during the fight. You'll be using a Bandos God Sword because these monsters have a considerably high defense. So without using a Bandos God Sword, this really isn't a viable way to train. Because you will need to lower his defense so you can get some nice hits on him and get optimal experience. If you don't use a Bandos God Sword, it's probably not worth doing really be an okay training spot but without the Bandos God Sword it really isn't worth it really. Now the Ring of the Gore actually allows the Bandos Special to only use 90% of the spec bar rather than 100% which in most cases will save you 30 seconds between doing the specials. So the Ring of the Gore which is acquired from Dungeoneering is really recommended. If you don't have a Ring of the Gore acquired from Dungeoneering then I would highly recommend you use a, ring, a Berserker Ring or something that boosts your stats or attack styles. It's not vital and it doesn't lower the experience that much, but being able to do as many specials as possible is ideal. As for your inventory, I highly recommend you use prayer renewals. I personally use overloads because A I'm lazy and B I have too many of them. I use overloads because it's quite simple when to use them every 5 minutes. I use them at the same time of prayer renewals, I remember to do them both, and the stats really don't go down, overloads kind of stay at 125, whereas extreme attack and strength gradually go down. That's why I like to use overloads, and I have lots of them. It would probably be more efficient, almost definitely more efficient, to use extreme attack and extreme strength if you have access to them. Otherwise, super attack and super strength will still be viable ways to do this. However, this is probably a training spot that is very useful to people with quite high combat stats. I would personally recommend over 90, but over 80 should still mean this spot is quite good. I mean, if you've done Nomad's Requiem, then you're quite a high level anyway, and this spot is probably quite open for you and good for you. Now, your inventory doesn't really matter that much, because the fight will last several minutes, and then you'll be you'll come back outside the Dominion Tower and you'll be right next to the bank, so you'll bank again. And you can really work out what inventory is right for you. My inventory is shown, I took a couple of overloads and a couple of prayer renewals and maybe 10 prayer potions. And that's because obviously I knew I was recording and I just took a random amount and that would last for a few fights. You know, each fight will take me a couple of prayer potions, so it doesn't really matter. You come back out, you've got access to a bank and you can work out what inventory is quite right for you. 
But yes, it is absolutely vital you take some kind of potions to boost your attack and strength. Defense doesn't matter because you'll be praying melee. I would also highly recommend prayer renewals. For no other reason than you have to click less if you use them. You'll have to use your prayer potions less. And they recover your prayer mean you have to pay less attention to your prayer and you've got less chance of dying and messing up your experience. So I'd highly recommend prayer renewal potions. There's not much point of using flasks. There's basically no point of using flasks at all for this spot because, like I said, you can bank after every kill. Not that you should be banking after every kill. Once you're happy with this spot, your inventory should be perfect and you should be able to go through quite a few kills without having to bank and not wasting any time. Now, in my experience with this spot, do consider that I leave the fight and get back into another fight very fast. If you're stalling when you leave the fight and get into a new fight, then your experience is going to be considerably lower because you need to consider that in the experience per hour. Okay, so let's get on with the method. To start, all you need to do is click on the Dominion Stairs and then click on Freestyle and then select the Decaying Avatar. He'll be right there on the left after you've clicked Freestyle. Simply click him and hit Fight. Anyway, let's get on with the fight. There are two ways to do this. There are one using Special Recover Potions and one not using them. Here's the first way where I don't use the Special Recover Potions and I just use the inventory I just showed you. Quite simple. I go into the fight. Before I go in, I use my Overload, my Prayer Renewal. I pray melee, put Turmoil on. I go in there and Bandos Spec him. The Bandos God Suspect considerably lowers his defense and then I just put auto retaliate on and attack him. Really that's it, all you have to do is now leave it attacking him. He will go to heal. As he does in Nomad's Requiem, he will walk to some roots once he gets lower health and he will eat them and heal. Once the roots appear it is vital you don't attack them because that will damage the training spot. The art of this training spot is that it's a fight that lasts very very long and you're fighting the same monster without any inconveniences. So you'll keep attacking him, just leave it there, you don't have to click apart from drinking your prayer potions. As you can see on the screen, it's really quite that easy. After 5 minutes, and if you're using prayer renewals or overloads, once one of those wears off, your spec bar will also have completely recovered and you can use your spec again. If you're using a ring of vigor, the spec will, you'll be able to do your second spec after 4 minutes and 30 seconds. If you're, using, if you're not using the ring of vigor, you'll be able to use your second spec after 5 minutes. Now it's you use it again because that again does boost experience quite a lot. You'll probably only be able to use your Bandos God Sword spec twice, you use it first when you go in and then 5 minutes later and you'll probably die subsequently a few minutes later. If he doesn't for any reason you'll be able to use another spec on the 10 minute mark of the fight. If he dies it's quite simple, you leave the arena and you go back in for another fight and it's really that simple. Now I believe the most efficient way to do this to get the best experience to hour is to purposely die to this monster. Once he has healed 3 times, because he will heal 3 times each fight, it's not variable, he will always heal 3 times, he will eat the roots 3 times, so it'll be quite clear when he does that because he will walk across the map. Once he's done that 3 times, you know the fight is drawing to an end, and once his life points are quite low after he's done that, the fight is really drawing to an end. Now I personally find the fastest way to do this is to purposely die to him. All I do is I turn off my melee protection prayer and carry on attacking him because that way I know I'm dying and I know I'm still getting experience. So I would recommend as the fight's drawing to an end and he's healed three times turning off your melee protection prayer which will probably be around after seven or eight minutes and continue attacking him so he's still getting experience and just wait till he kills you. Once he kills you you'll be kicked right outside next to the bank ready to start another fight because if you actually kill him then there are two ways to do it. You can walk back outside of the arena, which takes slightly longer and does hinder the experience per hour, but carry on attacking him when you're purposely dying so you can still get the best experience. So you still get an experience. Don't just take off all your armor and turn off melee protection and stop attacking him because then you're not getting experience anymore. And using this method, I was getting around 150k attack experience an hour, and when I really wasn't and rent and when I really wasn't paying attention and being a bit of a noob, I was getting around 130k attack experience an hour. And that's not including the constitution hit points experience I was also getting while doing this. I would just like to interject guys that any experience mentioned in this are obviously my experience from my gear, but anyone who's completed Nomad Requiem should really be able to get some awesome experience from this spot. And I would just like to reiterate that the Bandos God Sword Special is vitally important because of the monster's high defense, so that's why we want to use that so much. Now the second method, and the much faster method for training, is to use Special Recover Potions. Now Special Recover Potions are potions that basically recover your special attack. Each dose recovers 25% and they can be used every 30 seconds. Now this is really awesome, you just go into the fight as normal, but instead you take a few Special Recover Potions. You spec as you go in, as usual, with a big awesome hit like me. And then as soon as you spec, you drink a Special Recover Potion. You wait another 30 seconds and you can drink another special recover potion and then wait another 30 seconds and drink another and you can spec again and you continue on this loop. Remember every 30 seconds you can drink a special recover potion. It's key to remember every 30 seconds your spec bar also goes up by 10% naturally. 
So basically every 30 seconds you can be looking at getting 35% back on your spec bar. And if you're using a Ring of Vigor, the Bandos God Sword Special will use 90% of your special bar. And if you're not using a Ring of Vigor, obviously it uses 100% of your special bar. And you'll be looking to get 35% of your spec bar back every 30 seconds. Which means you can do the specials much more often and if you keep up doing them, perhaps get a little timer on your screen. This one does require much more attention, I know that, but it also means higher XP rates. I personally probably won't be doing it this way much because, like I said, I don't want to be paying that much attention and I want to be doing other things while I play RuneScape. That's why I like training attack sometimes. I can achieve on RuneScape while achieving IRL, kind of. But yet, with this method and using the specs quite often and drinking the special recover potions every 30 seconds and using the specs as soon as you can, you'll be looking at anything from 150k to 180k XP an hour in attack strength for defense. That's not including the hit points, and with this method, you can get up to and maybe over 240k melee experience an hour. So let's recap. With the first spot, not using the special recover potions, and the very simple spot using the Bandas God Sword spec, when you first go in, 5 minutes later, that's 120k to 155k melee experience an hour, not including constitution. And the second spot with the special recovers is 150k to 180k melee experience an hour, not including constitution again. Including constitution, obviously, is quite a bit more. Don't know, randomly I call it hit points and sometimes I call it constitution, bloody runescape. Why did they change it? Now if you have any questions about this let me know in the comments section I will try to answer all of them. You can send me a message on YouTube or read in the description as I put lots more details and typed up a lot of the stuff I said in the description of this video but it really is quite simple. Go to the Dominion Tower, use Banner's God Sword spec on that thing and just mess it up and you can get some awesome experience. I hope this guide was useful, I hope this guide was useful for you guys and if you have any suggestions, questions or anything remember the comments section. If you like this guide and would like to see more from me, click the thumbs up button. If you really enjoyed it, click the favourite. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and you can check out all my other videos. Thanks guys and happy days. I hope you're having a fantastic time.